welcome back to my channel guys today i'm going to show you how to make a very quick simple and easy one pot pilchards tin sardines recipe if you are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me all the measurements will be available for you in the description box below so this is a very quick and easy recipe so let's get started i'm starting off with some red onion which i'm going to be sauteing until it's nice and translucent it's not mandatory that you use red onion it just happens to be what I have on hand then to that I'm going to add some rosemary then to that I'm also going to go on ahead and add some curry powder Then I'm going to give that a quick mix as I continue to saute my onions just until they are nice and translucent and fully cooked through. Then I'm going to move over to the next step. So I am using some tinned sardines and this is what they are looking like. I've already deboned mine and I'm just going to pour them into my pot hole. You're welcome to also... Um, chop them into smaller sizes outside of the pot but I just find it easier to work with when I do it inside the pot so I'm just trying to make it into smaller pieces using my wooden spoon just around that size then to that I'm going to then start preparing my sauce or the base of my sauce so I'm starting off with some um, tomato paste which I'm just going to be adding and then I'm going to give it a quick mix just so I can evenly distribute it then to that I'm going to be adding some fresh coriander which I've just chopped and then I'm going to give that a quick mix again just to evenly distribute everything and then to that I'm going to be adding some chicken stock you're welcome to also make use of fish stock but I'm just not a fan of fish stock so I prefer to make use of chicken stock when I'm cooking um, fish dishes like this then I'm going to be adding some water I'm going to give that a quick mix then I'm going to um, allow it to simmer for about five minutes just so that everything can blend well together so after about five minutes this is what my sauce is looking like now i'm going to be adding my pasta so i'm adding my pasta in raw if you are not comfortable with doing this process you're welcome to boil your pasta for five minutes so when you're boiling it it won't cook fully through for five minutes and then rinse it off in really really cold water then you can add it into your pot like i am if you are going to be cooking your pasta outside this process you can then allow it to simmer in the sauce for no more than six minutes but if you're going to be cooking it um, from a raw state then you can just allow it to cook in the sauce for about 10 minutes and then this is what it's going to be looking like at this point you can also see that your sauce has also sort of thickened I do like the consistency of my pasta as it is right now um, but I will however be adding just a little bit of water a little bit later just to allow it to be a little bit loose because I know when you um, let your pasta sit after cooking it it the sauce also tends to thicken up again so while i was explaining that i did add a little bit of worcestershire sauce and i just gave that a quick mix and then i'm going to be adding some honey and this is just to offset the bitterness from the tomato paste and also our sardines were um preserved in tomato sauce which is quite a little bit bitter the one that i used was not the chili one but i strongly recommend you to try the chili one because that is just so much better than this one you're also welcome to use any cut of pasta i am using um screws but you can use spaghetti any type that you have on hand penne whichever one you feel like using it will definitely work out for you and that is it for this quick and easy recipe it's quite simple and easy i've topped up mine with some slices of cheese and I served it um, just as it is like this with a little bit of hot sauce to give it a kick and that is it please do comment in the comment section if you would like to try this recipe let me know what you would be serving it with and I will see you guys next time bye